In this video we demonstrate notify light alarm if the door remains open too long or more than X minutes. This e link door sensor and smart switches trigger a light alarm if the door remains open too long or for more than a set number of minutes. If the door is closed within the configured time, the light alarm will not be triggered. And if the door is closed, the light alarm will stop. This DIY automation alarm requires the following devices. Sonoff DW2 Wi-Fi door sensors, 2 units. Sonoff or eWellink smart switches, such as Sonoff Basic, Mini, or any Sonoff smart switches, 2 units. And the output devices are AC230B lights or alarm devices, 2 units. This is the wiring diagram for the Sonoff switch to connect to the power for the light. Note, in this demonstration, we used sensors for both front and back doors. You can follow the same procedure to set up a single sensor for one door. My door automation. The first step is to configure the door sensors with Wi-Fi and add them to the app. The second step is to configure the Sonoff switch with Wi-Fi and add it to the app. The third step is to create scenes to execute the door remain open alarm setup. Before configuring the sensor's Wi-Fi connectivity, install the batteries. Open the back cover to install the batteries in their designated positions, ensuring correct polarity. To ensure the sensor is powered, press and hold the reset button for 3 seconds, the yellow LED will indicate power. Install the batteries in the other sensor as well. Also, ensure that the sensor is powered. Now, let's configure the Wi-Fi and add the sensors to the eWellink app. We've already registered and logged into the eWellink app account. If you haven't, register and log in using your email or mobile number in the eWellink app. Then, under the home page, add the device using the add device option or click the plus symbol. Make sure that when configuring the Wi-Fi, your mobile phone must be connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, as Sonoff devices currently only support this frequency. You need to enter the Wi-Fi password here when the Wi-Fi SSID is displayed. During the device adding process, the nearest devices will be listed on the screen. If they are not displayed, press and hold the reset button to reset the sensors to factory mode. Click the plus icon to add them one by one, or select the add all option to add all the sensors to the app and connect them to the Wi-Fi router.
You can give them names by clicking the edit option. You can enter these names based on where you place your devices. Click Done to finalize adding the sensors to the app. Once added to the app, you can check the sensor's working state to ensure they are functioning correctly. The second step is to add the Sone off switch to the app and connect it to the Wi-Fi network. Press and hold the reset button on the smart switch to reset it to factory mode. The smart switch light will blink faster when it is in pairing mode with the app. Select the add device option. Then the Wi-Fi network will appear. Enter the Wi-Fi password to connect the device to the Wi-Fi network. Once the Wi-Fi is connected, click Add All to add the devices into the app. Give the device a name by clicking the edit option. Enter these names based on the corresponding door sensor names. Click Done to finalize adding the switches to the app. Once added to the app, you can check if the smart switches can be controlled via the app. OK, the third and final step is to create scenes to automate the alarm if the door remains open for too long or X minutes. You need to create two scenes for each door sensor, one to trigger the alarm when the door remains open, and another to stop the alarm when the door is closed. Under the Scene menu, click on the plus symbol or select the Build Now option to create a scene. On the Add screen, select the If condition. Choose the first door sensor device and set the state to remain open for a duration under Smart Device. The duration settings will appear here.
Set the time duration for how long the door can remain open before triggering the alarm. Adjust the value according to your preferences or requirements. For example, we have set the duration for the front door to 3 minutes. Save the configuration after applying each condition. Now, click Add Action under the Then condition. Select the Smart Switch under the Smart Device option. Here, select the corresponding Smart Switch for the front door sensor and set the state of the switch to on. This then condition will trigger the light to turn on when the if condition meets the specified time duration. You can execute this scene by a weekly schedule timing by configuring it under effective period. By default, 24 hours is configured. You can adjust the period of time under the custom option or leave it as 24 hours, whichever is more convenient for you. For demonstration purposes, we configured this scene from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Save this scene with the name of your choice. The created scenes are all available in the Auto section. You can test this scene by checking if the sensor remains open for X minutes. As per our demonstration, the alarm light will turn on after 3 minutes. Note, if the sensor is closed within 3 minutes, the alarm light will not be triggered. Now, create a second scene for the same door sensor for when the door is closed. This scene will turn off the alarm light once the sensor detects the door is closed. Click plus to create a scene for front door close. Under the if condition, select the smart device option to choose the front door sensor and select the option door sensor closed. Also, under the then condition, select the smart device option to choose the front door switch and select the off state. For the effective period, configure it to correspond with the scene for when the door is open. Save this scene with the name of your choice. As per our door close scene, when the sensor detects that the door is closed, the alarm light will automatically turn off. Repeat the same procedure to create a scene for the other door sensor as well, setting a unique door remain open time and effective period according to your usage. Note, instead of using a light, you can use an AC230V siren, hooter or any other device connected to the output of the smart switch device.
We have created a scene for the second back door sensor to trigger when the door remains open for two minutes. This scene for the second door is set to turn on the alarm light. For the effective period, configure it to correspond with the scene for when the door is open. Save this scene with the name of your choice. Create a second scene for the second door sensor for when the door is closed. This scene will turn off the alarm light once the second door sensor detects the door is closed. As per our door close scene, when the sensor detects that the door is closed, the alarm light will automatically turn off. Finally, we have completed all three major steps. Now, let's proceed to test this DIY automation device. Trigger all the door sensors to the open state to test this automation. As demonstrated in this video, when the second door sensor remains open for two minutes or longer, the corresponding alarm light will turn on. And for the first sensor, front door sensor, we created a scene to trigger the alarm light to turn on when the door remains open for 3 minutes or longer. Note, if the door is closed within the set door open remain time, the alarm light will not turn on. Here, both alarm lights are turned on according to the configured door remain open minutes in their respective door open scenes. When the door is closed or the sensor state is closed, the alarm light will turn off. Once you have completed this configuration and testing, you can fix the door sensors in their respective locations and position the smart switch alarm lights in the monitoring area or preferred locations. Now, the alarm light will not turn on if the door is opened and then closed back within the configured minutes as set in the door remain open scenes. We believe this DIY automation may be helpful for you. Please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel to encourage us to create more content like this.